it's Thursday night and we're back with the Thursday night golf show myself the average golfer and glad to see back next to me is um, Joey the tweet with his hair back to brown yeah I didn't like the blonde no no got some positive comments on YouTube you know was it? I didn't, mm. I didn't, I didn't Very really popular. check what the fans say. I like to keep myself to myself, really. Oh, right. And yeah. you've gone, so you've gone from blonde uh, blonde flowing locks, blonde you've gone to, to brunette tied up. back this week, yeah. A bit of a change, but okay. to myself. Okay, you feeling back to yourself? Feeling good, yeah. A bit more chatty this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already said a lot more than you did last week, to be fair. We're going to start um, with a bit of world golf news following on from last week. Um, if you remember, we discussed uh, Tiger. Tiger Woods, yeah, back out of back back into play after yeah, 15 months. 15 month break. So he's done uh, Hero Challenge. We filmed this on last Wednesday, so we didn't know how he was going to get on. He obviously played through to Sunday, finished 15th out of the 17 competitors, but he did all right. Not too bad. I think he had one good round of 65, I think. Yeah. And then a couple of 70s. Finally. Changed his world ranking already, though, hasn't he? Quite yeah, he's dropped by um, 200 and. <clears throat> He's dropped by, what is it, 248? Two, 248 places. So he's gone, would you believe, Tiger Woods was ranked 898th in the world prior to last week's event. Now jumped up to 650. Yeah. Incredible jump just for that one appearance. Uh, but it was great to see him back out there. Flashes are brilliant. Started off the first round uh, electrifying, really. Birdies uh, throughout the front nine. Yeah. Fell away on the front round and I think he posted uh, 73 on the first day and it was all a bit of uh, some good, some bad, but the main thing is hopefully he'd come through it unscathed and uh, feeling fit and uh, we should see Tiger back out on the course soon, I think. So, next one was, um, for me, in terms of world golf news, um, was back to the European Tour and uh, we think it's hard with playing at a weekend and uh, you might have a decent score going in your monthly medal. Now then, try ramping that up uh, by quite a few notches and European Tour qualifying school. Mm -hmm. And it was unbelievable. The quality and calibre of the field this year was just, I was quite taken aback by the people who you'd assume are just making a living out of golf forever and a day. Nothing's going to change for them. And I mean people like, we had, I'd have to read the stats because I'm not going to recall them all. But the interesting ones for me was this, right? Seven of the 30 qualifiers had won European Tour events. One of them had won a major. That's my dad. Why Yi Yang, who I think he won the uh, US PGA, mm -hmm. holding off uh, Tiger Woods, who we just mentioned. Yeah, yeah. He won a major competition and he was having to qualify for his European Tour card last week. Well, yesterday, not <laughs> last week. A um, few more stats. Other people, there was a Ryder Cup player. And only from, I think, four years ago, Molinari, Eduardo Molinari. Yeah. His brother's still on the tour and still, I think, Francesco's still ranked in the top 20. Um, it was actually 36 European Tour winners began qualifying stage. 36 winners. Yeah. I'll just reel off these stats. Two players, Stuart Manley and uh, is it Richard McAvoy, both graduated from qualifying school for the sixth time in their career. So they've been through this whole process six times and got through and qualified, which again, an amazing feat. I think there's only um, Philip Goulding, was it Golding? He qualified seven times. He holds the record at the moment. Talking of records, the oldest guy in the field was, um, <coughs> excuse me, and I think it was, his name's Gonzalez. I haven't got his first name down on here. I think it was Ricardo Gonzalez. He is the oldest graduate at 47 years of age. And would you believe he shot the lowest round of the week? He shot 64, and I think that was on the final day of qualifying as well. And some amazing stats. I cannot believe how difficult it is and what a standard is set on the European Tour at the moment. And uh, to qualify um, and get your card and, and retain your card is unbelievable. Eddie Pepperell was another name that I've seen in there. I think he qualified again. But again, this is a fellow who was playing last yeah. year, or last couple of years, doing really well, finish high on leaderboards, but clearly not enough to retain um, his card for the year. So, But anyway, um, no doubt they'll be celebrating this morning because they've got their, uh, their playing right back. Right, where are we going next, Joe? European Tour finish with. Mm -hmm. Are we going to some golf products? Yeah, go on to the um, golf products. Tell me about them, mate. What's the, coming? Um, I mentioned <coughs> last week. Shuffling yeah, paper everywhere, are you? Yeah. I mentioned last week, didn't you? The um, new M2. Yeah, tailor made. Yeah, new M2. Uh, well, M1 and M2 drivers. Yeah. I know Tiger was playing with one, wasn't he? Spot Tiger had the M2 one. last week. Yeah. It's already been seen in Rory's bag. 
we had a sneak picture of it last week but now see the pictures be, uh, behind us rather then uh, you'll see that they've now been officially released from uh, Taylor made and their announcement for I think it's what we're we looking at Jan um, yeah January you yeah get pre-sale as early Jan and then you can get them later on Jan we've got a rude interruption into studio two there yeah so in, an in and out by the looks of it but we've got um so you can order what pre-order 12th of jan delivery 27th of jan what about the technology joe m1 what's so different the M1, this time around um 43 percent more carbon than last year's model okay which basically means it's more additional focus on multi-material construction saves weight enabling to lower the cg oh, that's fantastic news, yeah for better launch conditions yeah and what about the m2 it's got this new geo acoustic technology. Oh yeah, which is that sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah, really good, does that sound one. really good. I <clears throat> practice that either. That just came straight. That was that was that was just ad lib. That was just ad lib. You know what I mean? Sounds sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, about the technology again. What about it? I'll tell you what it means. It means this. <laughs> it means is it longer? Uh, yeah. More forgiving. More forgiving. It does this. It does that. It does the other, and it costs you about four hundred quid. Yeah. Now the reality is. Will it actually be any better than last year's M1 and M2? The idea is get out there. We'll be reviewing it probably in January. Yeah. Um, and you'll be getting a good, honest assessment from us whether or not it's uh, worth shelling out an extra few quid for. Specifically for myself, I'm playing the M2 from last year at the moment. So uh, I'll uh, be interested to see what changes yeah. they've made and if it's worthwhile upgrades. We'll, uh, we'll soon find out. A couple of products due out early, Jan, so we'll be back in there. Leads me on to Clark's while I shuffle a few more bits of paper around. Where have you put that? What did I do this week? So we went into, um, as ever, um, visit to Clark's, carried on with the Strixon range, product that we missed out um, when the sort of big launch of the new Strixon 2016 or 2017 range came about uh, a few weeks back. Um, they had a driving iron, um, ZU65 was the product code. It wasn't in as a demo at the time, so we... Um, arrived last week as a demo club and uh, here's a clip from my testing earlier on this week oh that's nice yeah plenty of sniffs this morning that cold just doesn't go away that's a long long carry um again my little cut seems to be quite nice at the minute i'm quite controlling that quite comfortable with it so 203 222 overall Spin rates three and a half thousand. They're all pretty decent numbers. Um, and in all honesty, I've had no problem in uh, getting that ball um, airborne, if you like. So if you want to watch the uh, video to that one in full, then uh, as ever, link will be down below. Um, following on from the uh, testing of the ZU65, I then put it in a head-to-head -head challenge with the uh, Strixon um, utility equivalent and again i forgot the code of that thing but it's uh, was that that was a zu65 yeah, wasn't that it? you're about yeah. to yeah, remind me of that just gonna say it's on my notes there see yeah yeah I can see that mm -hmm. so yeah watch both of those videos see how you see how they fare next up joe what have we got got a funny for us haven't you uh well yeah so about <clears throat> you may have seen a viral video some girl down in Bristol, first golf lesson she's ever had. She oh, only, right. I was thinking of a different video then. Oh, no, no. She only lands a hole in one. Yeah. Of the first. You've, I haven't exactly girl. built suspense. I was going to ask people to watch this oh. and find out the end. You've told them what happens in the end. Oh, right, yeah. But we can restart. Watch anyway and see what happens. <laughs> nice! Okay, so uh, yeah, unbelievable. Many of golfers try for absolute years, and uh, well, plenty yeah, of us. Yeah, us too. I mean. Oh no, I'm talking about others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've try had... a long, long time yeah. for a hole in one. You had that one in Blackpool, didn't you? At, um... Yeah, twice in the same course. Yeah, which was fantastic. Time. Yeah, the windmill. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah, over the dinosaurs back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a good one. That was yeah. to be fair. So yeah, if you've not had uh, a hole in one yourself and plenty of people haven't and they've gone a whole career without uh, doing so unbelievable to think that girl there first ever golf lesson on a golf course and lets herself a hole in one so there you go well done to her decent video as well a lot more views than we get on our <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. for any reason why. And uh, anyway, that's us again for this week for the Thursday Night Golf Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, comments down below. Uh, watch the videos, like I said, from the links below as well, uh, from the visit to Clark's this week. And uh, as ever, don't forget, if you've played any golf, tuplo.co.uk. Leave some uh, reviews there yourself and get involved in Tuplo in any way you can. As ever, we're grateful for watching, so uh, see you soon. Bye. See you later. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Oh. Sorry, my mate. It's been sorting me out. Does it look alright? Hey. I mean, not being funny, like, I know I was, like, a bit quiet last week, but it's been all day, this has. Seriously. I I'm just asking, does my hair look alright today or not? Because I'm not, I'm not going on camera. Seriously. You know what? I'll wipe that grin off your face if you carry on. I'm sick of... Go on. Shut oh, I'll tell you what. It's show business. It's show business. <laughs>